Tonight, a movement is brewing among Starbucks workers. Baristas from across the country and right here at home are fighting to unionize. Workers at a Buffalo, New York store were the first to approve that effort, and since then, workers at 66 stores in 20 states have filed applications for union election with the National Labor Relations Board. Now that's according to our Scripps sister station in Denver. And today, some local workers are making the push. They met with Senator Sherrod Brown and News 5's John Kosick was there. Senator Sherrod Brown orders his tea union strong this day at the West 6th Street Starbucks, looking to become the first in the state to unionize its workers. Brown here to show his support and to let them know he has their back, he said, in their effort to be heard. If workers want to join a union, they should be allowed to because most, most people in this country, most workers, understand a union card gives them something. It gives them a voice in the workplace. It gives them more flexibility in their schedule and it earns them more better wages and and better working conditions and better benefits. The nationwide effort started late last year in Buffalo and inspired employee Joe Nappy to follow suit in Cleveland, getting the process started here last month. He's amazed at how quickly the effort has spread across the country. When we filed, there was, I don't, there was less than 20 stores that had filed. Now it's over, I think, 70 in about 24 states. It's incredible the speed that this has picked up, that all these baristas are finally realizing that they deserve a seat at the table. Nappy said they were able to collect the signatures of 18 of the 20 employees at this location, and they had their hearing last week with the National Labor Relations Board. We're waiting for, for a decision from that, and, you know, in the next few weeks, we're hoping that, you know, we get our ballot sent to us. It may end up being the first Starbucks store in Ohio to go this route, but based on the calls they're getting, they don't expect to be the last. I mean, ever since we filed, we've been in talks with people um, across our district, across Ohio. Um, so yeah, we've just been helping them in the process and hoping to hear from them soon. Joe and Maddie say it wasn't any one complaint that drove them to this, but rather the security of having a voice. Starbucks, for its part, tells News 5 they are listening to their workers in these stores. They believe they are better together without third parties involved, but they respect the rights of employees to organize. And for those who choose to go that route, the company will bargain in good faith. They also pointed out the fact that their baristas make between $15 and $23 an hour. Senator Brown saying the best way to guarantee those wages continue is to allow unions, which he says benefits the company in the long run. Because people have more and more disposable income to be able to, 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 to buy their products. In Cleveland, John Kosick, who's five. Now, these unionization efforts are not without controversy. Starbucks has been opposed to them. And just last week, the company fired seven employees at a Memphis store. Starbucks says the workers violated policies, but the fired employees say it was in retaliation for their unionization efforts.